Hey guys, I'm Cody, at Irvine Past Life Pro, and today, I have a very unique thing to show you. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to change the sun rotation to whatever you'd like. And for those that are confused as to what this means, you'll figure it out soon. So, without further ado, let's get started. First, have the Sue shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Access the folder. Access the shaders folder and locate composite.fsh. Using Notepad++, open it up. From here, scroll down to line 63. By default, the sun rotation is set to begin at the horizon line and continue at a 40 degree angle until it reaches the horizon on the other end. With this adjustment, we basically have the power to put the sun anywhere in the sky. And for cinema producers, this is a massive upgrade to the normal unchangeable positions of the sun rotation. So, as an example for this tutorial, I thought I'd bring the sun back to its roots, before the diagonal axis change. For this to work, I changed negative 40.0F to 0.0F. Save and exit. Since we're using the SUS, our last step would be to verify our change, so locate composite1.fsh. Open it up. Scroll down to line 65. Now, just repeat the number you added in before. For me, I'm going to repeat 0.0F. Save, and let's check this out in Minecraft. Alright, if this Seuss tutorial was of any use to you, then do with that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys.